How to cast off. Hooray for you! You've completed all your stitches and now it's time to stop knitting. What? You don't know how to stop? Relax, you've come this far, the rest is easy. You will need your knitting project, a pair of scissors, and a yarn needle. Step one, knit the first stitch just like you were starting another row. If your project was knitted with purl stitches, continue knitting with the purl stitch to cast off. Step two, knit the second stitch just like you were continuing another row. Now stop. This is where the cast off or bind off happens. Step three, insert your left needle into the first stitch, the one on the bottom of your right needle. Step four, your needles with the left one on top are now making an X held together by a loop of yarn. Slide the loop up and over the tip of the right needle so it leapfrogs the second stitch. Step five, withdraw the left needle from that stitch. Now there's one stitch left on your right needle. Step six, knit another stitch so that once again there are two stitches on your right needle. Step seven, repeat steps two through four until you've cast off all stitches. Only one stitch should remain on your right hand needle. Remember, you're repeating a pattern where you have two regular knit stitches on your right needle. You get rid of one, replace it with another, get rid of one, replace it with another, and so on. Two, one, two, one, two, one. Step eight, cut off the yarn, leaving about six inches extra. Step nine, pull the right end through the loop remaining on the needle. Tighten it against the needle, then slide the needle out. Push the knot tightly against the completed project. Step 10, use a yarn needle to weave the loose yarn into the edge stitches. Cut off any excess and you're done. Did you know the world record for speed knitting by hand is 118 stitches per minute? A home knitting machine averages 600 to 1200 stitches per minute.